And that uh, that leads me or us to my favorite segment. You know what my favorite segment is? What that is? To be or not or to not be. Or not to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh yeah. Okay. Nah, I ain't rapping, still trapping. Raven over there clapping, and she singing. It's hopeful. I ain't tripping. I ain't boastful. I ain't bragging. Pants I ain't sagging. I ain't tripping. I'm rapping, not lagging. Going hard. Talking about the soundtrack. I ain't tripping. R. P. Fat Pat and the acting and the plot too. Yeah. Gonna show you what the audio visual do. Yeah. From the movie to be or not to be. I ain't tripping. Brought to me by Gregory. I'm on the mic. Going real fast. I ain't tripping. I had to make it last. This is the Social Hour Podcast, and I'm rapping real fast, talking about the movie. This is what I said. Raven going left, and I'm going fed. King looking at me. He want to be on Tubi, or not to be, but he can't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, welcome to Tubi or not to be. You know what I'm saying? This is where I take a look at a Tubi movie. And I rate it, you know what I'm saying? One to five Kool-Aid cups. One being the least you can get, five being the most Kool-Aid cups you can receive. It's really hard to get five Kool-Aid cups because nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? Except my boy Ro and his movie, they were perfect. But, uh, man, so this week we checked out a movie uh, called Bissonette. If you from Texas, <laughs> especially Collins' hometown, Houston, Texas. South Seal for Lil. You know about Bissonette. And what they known for? If you don't know, check the movie out. That's all I'm gonna say. Loading seafood and closing at 7 p.m. <laughs> check out Miss Net. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine if you're from Dallas, Miss Net is the Harry Hines of Houston. Yup, yup. way to put you it. Good comparison. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but nah. So that's what the movie was about. That I ain't gonna really say too much about that because we a kid friendly podcast. So y'all go check out Miss Net. But I will grade it. The visuals was decent. You know what I'm saying? They had some good lighting. One bad, I wasn't squinting. I, I could always see what was going on. So actually, with the visuals, I'm going to give them a four. A four. Four Kool-Aid cups. The audio kind of missed. Uh, sometimes it sounded like they had a clear mic like this. And sometimes it sounded like they were talking like this. I couldn't really hear what they were saying through the microphone. And then it will sound like they edited it again like this. But... Uh, so with that audio, I, I gotta get at a good old 2.75. Uh, the plot, can't say too much about it because I don't want to give away anything. I really want y'all to go watch this movie and support it. It was decent. It had some holes in it. Uh, I'm gonna get a plot of three. Three Kool-Aid cups. The acting was cool. Uh, you had some superstars in it. I, and I say superstars as, like, they could really do this acting thing. And it's how two movies go. You got the ones who probably just called in a favor and was like, let me get a role in your movie. Overall, I'm gonna have to get at a 3.5, Raven. Let's do a 3.5 Kool-Aid cups with that. The soundtrack was kind of forgettable. I don't remember anything they played. I think that was a big miss considering how many great artists come out of Houston, how many great artists have come out of Houston, how many are currently coming out of Houston. Uh, shout out to all them people. Uh, one of my favorites right now, uh, Mexican OT. Man, I like him. Come on the show. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so soundtrack, don't really remember anything. Let's give it a three. Three Kool-Aid cups for the soundtrack. Add that up, and you get 3.25 for Bissonette. Y'all going to be checked it out. Bissonette, again, based on the street in Houston, Texas. Y'all go run them streams up for them. Let them get them checks. And let me know what y'all thought about it.